Amsoil Champ Off-Road Series. It's like a good clean start so far as they head down into turn one. It's Matt Bone on the point right now. It's like Waz is going to get shuffled back a little bit. He got kind of crossed up, and there you see CJ Greaves and Adrian Jenny as they go to work trying to get forward to this field. Look at Holzer go to the inside. He's going to open up the door. Bonex could have been wider of the move and get that spot away. seen when Kyle Cheney in the number 91 Can-Am into the lead. He jumped right over the side of Chance Hogan and made it look picture perfect. Well, Hogan is no slouch either, but he's going to open the door there for Owen Van Epperen. He gave Van Epperen an inch and Van Epperen took the position from him. So Owen Van Epperen now up into second. There's Chance. There goes Ronnie Van Epperen again. Hogan just gets out of the race line, and that's what happens. You get out, and you get in that fluffy soil, it pulls you right down. Yeah, mistake there by Hogan. That's going to yield that spot to Rodney Van Epperen. So now your top three is Cheney, Owen Van Epperen, and Rodney Van Epperen. And look at this, friend. New fastest lap of the race belongs to the number five of Owen Van Epperen. So he is the fastest car on the race course as he tries to hunt down the 91 of Cheney. That time by, then Kyle Cheney was, oh! Cheney pulls off. Looked like Kyle Cheney pulled off the track in the back section. Your new race leader is Owen Van Epperen. Checkered flag is out. Owen Van Epperen is going to be the round nine winner here in Provence side by side. Rodney Van Epperen across the line second. Pro 
two underway here at Park River International Raceway. Climbing already getting crossed up. He's going to get shuffled back. That's going to hand the lead all by itself over to Keegan Kincaid in the Lucas Oil Vision Wheel number four truck. Wow, look at Kyle Climbing. He's beating and banging on the side of Mickey Thomas. Our field finds its way through the gravel pit back past our starting line. Brooks still closing that gap on Kincaid and beat for his part, closing the gap on Penico. Yeah, I've been watching Ryan Reed. He's just clicking off little by little, reeling in the number three of Daly Penico. Here's the run. He's got a run now on Penico. Up and over the hill past the crowd. They're still side by side. They make contact. Bang and bedsides as they head for cemetery turn. Ryan Reed now, his eyes are set on the top drivers here. Look at that. Race for the lead out front. Keegan and Cade running on that cushion. Look at that left rear. It's not flat. That's just how they set up this trap, this truck for the track, just trying to get as much grip as possible. Kincaid still leading Brooks, but Brooks is going to look to the inside. Oh. Takes Kincaid's bedside to go through the gravel pit turn. No harm, no foul on that one. It's still going to be Kincaid and then Brooks as they come back down the hill towards turn number one. Look at this. Brooks slide jobs, Keegan Kincaid. Big contact, more contact between those two. He ripped the hood off that thing, but hey, they were door to door, so it was anybody's game going through that little rhythm of that little chicane as we come to the halfway point here. I'm interested to see what kind of lap Ryan Pete is putting down, because he is just sucking in on the top two. And look at this, just as I say it, a 120, Watch test. He's the fastest driver on the race course right now, that number 51. And look at Jared Brooks hard on the binders again, trying to get the inside of Keith Kincaid. Here comes Ryan B. Brooks opened the door. B trying to take that spot away as they come back towards the starting line. Played it smart. Here comes Ryan B. Brooks got all crossed up. That's going to open the door for B to go sliding by. Now B pushes wide. Brooks is battling back. Yeah, it looks like B got the better run. He just hit that little finger jump. Carry his speed a little bit quicker. Remember, we're staring at our screen. Ryan beat again with a 120-406. He is flat out flying here at Fork River International Raceway. But King Kincaid, he's showing the way around. One last time, a little bit of Cooper Tires flyaway. Still Kincaid, Brooks, Thomas. But King Kincaid. Kincaid comfortably out in front. The checkered flag is going to be out. It's going to be Kincaid, Thomas. Brooks barely holds on for third, climbing fourth, and Corey Winter will round out the top five. The green flag is flown. Adrian Chenny takes off right away. Goes really, really wide, hits the retaining wall. We'll have to babysit that left rear tire early on, Shane, because he whacks the back side of that. It looks like he might have some rub damage on the outside. Back up front, Jenny going to work on Johnny Greaves, and he's closing that gap back up. So Jenny settling down a little bit, although then he makes another mistake as quickly as I can say. He was calming down. Got a little bit of water. Man, Jenny makes another mistake just missing that tire again. Yeah, another problem by Jenny here to check up, and that's going to turn second place over to Andrew Carlson. Something's going on with the front right of Doug Matang. I don't know if it's a little fiberglass rubbing on that tire. We'll have to take a look at it. Watch as he comes over that little double. Yeah, Matang pulled off, by the way, so Doug Matang done for the day, and that's going to make the top three in all Monster Energy top three. It's Johnny Greaves, CJ Greaves, Kyle LaDuke. Wow, LaDuke set in sail. Oh, look at CJ Greaves going to the inside, trying to make a pass on his father. Here comes Kyle LaDuke. There's the white hood of LaDuke to the inside. CJ Greaves just ahead of LaDuke. This is going to come down right to the end. I can guarantee you that. Johnny CJ, gets wide. CJ, Johnny has a broken Oh, just Broken front missed. linkage. Wow, looks that like could he, have been bad. Looks like Johnny Greaves may have broken a front tie rod. Like, both wheels were towed way out. So, tough break for Johnny Greaves. And 
the Duke had to check up a whole bunch, so. And it looks like nowhere to be found is Kyle Duke. Kyle Duke looks like he broke. CJ Green's on his way to his fourth win of the season here. He's got one more corner to navigate. On to the Amswell front straight. CJ Green's is your round nine winner. Henderson across the line second.